Okay. I finally got over here to the cistern area. And uh, what a gorgeous day it is. I'm going to pack up a few extra things just to take me some water. It's a little bit of a walk back through here. I'll turn this back on when we get ready. This is, uh, we call these here in Florida, we call these sour oranges. And this is remnants of the citrus industry right here in this area. It got froze out in the late 18, like 1898 or something, but it, it just, it just it devastated the citrus industry. And uh, that's what kick-started the uh, cattle industry here in Florida. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go through this gate. I'm going to walk down through the woods here and uh, locate that cistern. There's uh, the uh, show pig for the owner's grandson. I don't know exactly when that is. There's one of those little donkeys with the cross on its back. Hey, donkey man! And there's one cracker cow. There's two of them in here somewhere. Anyway, let me get going. Enough yammering. And I'll turn you on when we get started on it. <laughs> I finally got everything loaded up. And uh, we're walking through. I'm trying to see. A lot of times there's deer out here. I don't see any right here. But that doesn't mean they're not here. And, <coughs> excuse me, there's uh, mosquitoes out. So I have added uh, some mosquito spray. But, uh, hopefully they won't be too bad. This is a beautiful big old live oak here out in the middle, middle of nowhere. Anyway, I'll turn you back on when we get closer. The, uh, we're only just a couple minutes. I'll show you the cistern again when we... Okay, I finally found it. I walked right past it the first time. You can see the where they've thrown the rocks in there. And the wall. Get up a little closer here. It's definitely a cistern, but I walked to the right of it and went right by it. I said, I know it's right here somewhere. And it's just as soon as I turned the camera off, I, uh, I jumped a deer. It was probably 50 feet from me. There's another massive oak right here. I would say this is kind of flattish through here. So... I'm going to check this out, of course, around this cistern, but it's pretty rough ground. A lot of deadfall, a lot of brush. So I'm going to have to go slow. I'm using the AT Pro regular coil. Um, Black Atta stainless shovel. I got a No Pro over there, and then I've got this Coolpix L340, which I, I like as a camera and as a video recorder. Okay, let me see if I can find us something to look at. Y'all ready? Okie doke. Well, the first signal, it's kind of a scratchy, but it's up there in the, in the 80s. But it was, I scuffed the leaves back and used a pinpointer. It should be right here. Whatever it is. Oh, this is rocky. Let's see if that got it. Hopefully. Boy, well, there's rocks everywhere out here. It's all, I call it Sumter County rock, but.
think it may be just iron. Looks like there's something else. It's just picking up. Picking up that, whatever that is. This is going to be digging. Yeah. Big iron, whatever it is. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that out of there. I know I'm not going to grab it without a glove. Oh, what a beautiful morning. I tell you what, it is absolutely perfect. The high 50s. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe. Definitely something here. It's a good sign. It's a big strap hinge. So that's for like a barn or something like that. I'm not going to put that in my pouch, but I will take it out of here. Put it over there on the next to that cabbage palm. And let's go on to the next. Well, I've only been digging iron. I mean, I'm getting some signals, but it's pretty infested here. This one is another one, but. It's got less hard stuff right here. It's got less of a grunt than the others did, or seems to be. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Was it hard? Dang right it was hard. These, these old flint rocks all through here. Be a you know, miracle. I don't ding a coin. I did find a piece of brick over there. One of the other holes. Still there. Because it's a, look at It's a buckle. There's where the tongue used to be. That's a, uh, a D, what do you call it, D buckle. And it is probably from some horse tack. See, there may have been a citrus packing shed right in here somewhere. Because the river is just through there, not too far away, and they may have, they may have, uh, you know, packed uh, citrus right in this area. Um, who knows? It's been so long ago. You know, that was this was all orange groves. Uh, I'm sure some of these big oaks were here, but. You know, we're talking about 1898 when it froze out. So that's more than likely, you know, 100 plus years. Well, we're all around something here. There's a hoe. I don't know how old it is. It looks kind of old. Hopefully, we'll get on to something good here now. 
Well, I had a an iron signal mixed with a with a mid to high 80s. This was probably the iron. Uh, it's part of a sickle mower. The triangle blade goes back and forth, and this goes flat along the ground and then cuts off. I used to use it for, uh, I believe, hand uh, back in the day. Um, but but wait, there's more. I uh, after I got that out of there, I rechecked the hole, and this sounds pretty good. So, let's see if we can find it. Hopefully, keep your fingers crossed. I'm ready for a, you know, I'm finding some artifacts, some old stuff, but I need some, some coiny. Get a shovel out of here. See if we can get it up out of the ground. if we got it. Whatever it is still under there. There it is, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> the other part of the sickle bar. Okay. Well, we're batting a thousand on artifacts, and uh, we're owing nine for coins or anything of momentous occasion. All right, let's keep going. Well, this was a heart stopper for about five seconds. Saw this when it popped out. I could see that edge. <laughs> I thought, woo, big copper, but it turned out to be just some sort of, I don't know what it is, some sort of a metal cap or something. But boy, it sure sounded good, and sure looked good to start with. It was not to be. Okay, I don't know if that was recording or not, so this showed up in the 60s. Um, uh, low, low to mid 60s, but it was clean. Didn't have any grunt to it, iron grunt. And it's got a uh, holes in each side where a pin or something went through it here. So I'm not sure. It's got some fancy on it. I don't know what it is actually. But it's cool. It is a relic. And it is old. Okay. This is reading uh, mid to high 80s. Pretty clean. I mean it's not doesn't have a whole lot of but that doesn't mean it's not big iron cooling the detector, but it's got a potential for being something good. Right, get past these. Oh, it's some rough stuff to dig in. It's supposed to be pretty close. Oh, there's just a, just a rock there. That's part of a 
Looks like it might be flat there, like a foundation. Right there. I can get on each side of it. Nope. Something else there. It's going to be hard not to ding something. Just go be luck. See what we're doing here. See if we're getting anywhere. Got a root going this way, root going this way, and whatever it is, it's right underneath both of them. So, not the best thing that could happen. It's a pretty good sized root right there. Nothing for the black adder. Tell you, I have some big old boy, and I put some weight on the shovel. Let me tell you something. I know just today I have tried to plant it in the ground, and it is it is still just like I, when I bought it. I've, I've hit a plenty of rocks trying to dig here and, and other places, but just today, pretty hard stuff, whatever it is. Come on, get it. Thank you. One side. Okay, I hope we're going to be able to get down here still, but we've got a better chance of it now. With those two culprits out of the way. Watch out, Mr. Wiggler. Yes, I got y'all framed. Yeah. Probably could come around just here. Let's see what it sounds like. Well, whatever it is. Tell me you wouldn't have dug this. It's a sweet sound there. 79, 82, 84. So it's right there in the sweet range. Let's see if we can find it. First thing, let me get old Mr. Worm back in there. Bring y'all in a little closer. Okay. Yep.
Yes. Damn, another big piece of metal. Sounded good. But it torn't. Big metal. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. Huh. Well, I found a hoe. Now I got a half a hoe. Anyway, we we'll definitely put it over there next to that pin strap. We're definitely in the in the area. I mean, you know, there's definitely stuff here. If somebody was here doing something. Make sure we haven't overlooked anything. I think that's the camera leg. Yeah. Yeah, that was the tripod leg. Well, I was walking back and had a, a good clean 65. And it's a fired bullet. It's hit something. It's got two rings. It's white, so it's been there for a while. But I don't know if it's real old. I'm kind of suspecting it's modern. But I don't know that for sure. So, anyway, there it is. This one, still on the way back. This one rang up in the high 70s, see if I can get this out of here, without it falling back in the hole, this whole one handed stuff I ain't much on, okay, let's uh, see if we can figure it out. Right there, but I see rust. So, I doubt it's anything of momentous importance. Big. Let me let go of this camera. Some sort of horse tack. It's some sort of, some sort of a, uh, big iron ring. Imagine it's like a range guide or I would assume it's some sort of horse tack. That's okay. It's a relic. If I can get this thing shut off. Oh gee. These gloves. Okay this isn't much of a wrap up. You've seen all this in the video but uh I left the uh, the two hose and the big strap hinge uh, up against the tree. I'll retrieve them when I go back. Um, I had so much stuff in my pouch and the gear I took in there with me, bottled water and stuff. Uh, anyway, everything I had was just, I was full. Uh, some sickle mower parts, horse tag D-ring, probably a range guide or something. Uh, Brass valve, just some slaw, a couple aluminum, look like 38 uh, shell casings. Uh, the number E, and probably the two best things were this, whatever this little bit of fancy is. And then this, I'm not sure what this is, so if somebody knows. I mean, I don't know if it's modern, it's kind of white, got two rings. No jacket or anything, no copper jacket. It's a little concave uh, on the bottom of it. It definitely fired and hit something. But uh, 
not sure what it is. It could be very modern or very old. I have no idea. Anyway, um, I'm thinking there's probably, this was a barn or something just from what I found, you know, uh, farming implements, uh, horse tack. This could have been a barn area. I may not be able to get to where the house was or where I think there should be a house. Uh, it's on the other side of a fence and it's maybe 15, 20 feet from the cistern to that fence and that other side of that fence isn't isn't where I have a permission. So I may or may not be able to find anything, uh, you know, besides this kind of stuff. I don't know. Uh, I'll definitely go back, but it'll be a while now. All right, that's it. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't, please subscribe. Hit the bell if you want notifications. And I think the next thing I want to do is such a pretty day is go fly some drones. And that video will be posted later. Alright, y'all have a good Sunday.